Mixed doubles is next. Uh, Joachim Fischer Nielsen and Christina Pedersen, the number four seeds from Denmark, up against the number eight seeds from a career. Uh, Go Sung Hyung and Kim Ha Na. Of course, the Koreans. On court number one. Not yet on the list Lee on the road to Korea, Malaysia, whereas their Korea, opponents went up one place after reaching the semi final of Japan up to number three, of course, the Danes. But uh, the Polish combination down three places from three to six. And, and they'll be going down even more Denmark, because it's very happy news that Nadia Ziba is expecting a baby and therefore Fischer won't be taking this part Denmark. anymore in the Super Series of this year. So here are the former champions, Joachim okay. Fischer Nielsen and Christina Pedersen. Well, Christina Pedersen's been a very busy lady already because she was first match on, on one of the adjoining courts this afternoon. She and Camilla Arutiul are the European champions and World Championship bronze medalists recently in Guangzhou. Well, they're safely through to the semi-final. Can she make it two semi-finals out of two? The only player in this match that's already been playing so far today or has to play. There she is, the 27-year-old from Warburg. European champion, as I say, in the women's doubles. Bronze medalist, of course, in the mixed doubles at London Olympic Games with this man. And, of course, bronze medalist at the World Championships in 2009 in Hyderabad. So there, Kim Mahana, 23 years of age from the island of Chiju, southern island off the tip of South Korea. So the Danes, four in the world ranking, seeded four. And up one place in this Super Series ranking to three. They've won one Super Series tournament already this year, that was the Malaysian. Beaten finalists in Indonesia, a couple of semi-finals. But surprisingly, a couple of first-round losses as well in the semi-final tournament, in Super Series tournaments. Well, there you can see that hard, hard match yesterday against the Japanese pair of Hawakawa and Matsutomo. Of course, we've just been watching Matsutomo in the women's doubles. They had to save five game points in the opening game before taking it 27-25 and had to save a game point in the second before closing out the match in two straight games. It really was a, a very intriguing and exciting mixed doubles encounter yesterday. So to the Asian champions and 26-year-old Go Sung Hyung from Busan in South Korea. Kim Hana, 23. Been well publicized what happened to her in the London Olympics, but She's returned to the world stage and is playing very well again. Now, the seeding of eight, world ranking of 20. And, of course, they won the Asian Championships in Taipei. As an unseeded combination earlier this year, beat the Olympic champions, Jiang Nan and Zhao Yunlei, in the final in Taipei. Tough first round match against the pair from Sweden who'd been promoted from the qualifying. And then against the Germans yesterday, far more straightforward as far as they are concerned. Now, they have actually met each other once previously, and that was in the second round of the India Super Series event. And as you can see, it was very close indeed. 22-20, 23-21. The Koreans won on that occasion. Now, before we get underway, Jim, just need a little explanation from you. Uh, Go and Kim, number 20 in the world rankings, and yet the seeded eight. Now, just explain that to us. Uh, no, sir, Is that right? No, no, please. That's right. Oh, yes. <laughs> yep. Because, of course, they've only played seven tournaments together. Six individual tournaments, I should stress. Plus, of course, they played the Sudaman Cup. That is, of course, 
uh, rulers in there because, of course, it's a very good pair. It would be a shame if they were, uh, you know, uh, had to go up against uh, top seeded in the first, uh, for, uh, second seed in the first Ladies round. Ladies and so. gentlemen, on my left, Ka Sung Yoon, Kim Kana, Korea. And on my right, Joachim Fischer, Christina Pedersen, Denmark. Kim Karnat to serve to Joachim Fischer. Level. Play. So our umpire from Latvia and the service judge from Belgium. Real international flavour. I suspect this is all going to be very fast and furious. Yeah. Of course, we should, we have to see if uh, your I thought your Kim yesterday was very wild in this game. He, now he's also. He's always a little <laughs> a wild and cold, but but he was, you know, I thought it ruined his game a little bit yesterday. Uh, see if he's more calm today. Uh, on the other hand, I can, you know, the, the info I have for, uh, and I had for a while for on, on on go is when he was p partnered with Lee Young Day, they were quite happy in Denmark because they've always had big trouble with him in mixed double. Uh, um, um, and, and of course, he wasn't really playing any mixed doubles when he was playing with no, men's now, with the young No, and now, as we can see, they won the last time. He's he's back, in, and I, if I had to be fair, I think he can be way more effective in his uh, in his mixed doubles. Um, of course, that's where I really took notice of him, and in fact, an awful lot of people took notice of him when he reached the final of the All England Mixed Doubles Championships, having come through the qualifying. Yeah. And of course, playing with Ha Jung Long. But you know, we talked about his big smash earlier on. You know, that can be you know way more effective in the mixed double than it, 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 it can be in the in the mixed mixed double. And we already see that here. He's 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 uh, he's quick. He hits hard. You know, and that if there's one thing that can be difficult for for a girl, it's it's you know a guy that can hit that hard. Um, yeah, and we've talked before about uh, Christina Pedersen does tend to be a little bit committed, either one side or the other, even committed to the forehand defence or the backhand defence, rather than just waiting, able to defend either side. Yeah. All in relative terms, of course, because she's got a very good defense. Yeah, yeah, but it's not. But it, no, it, we it need we need to find something sometimes. Yeah. Uh, and, and and that will be it on Christina. But we can already see here go. He's, he's so lively. He's so he, he moves really really well around court. So he covers a lot of ground on court. Um, Three all. The oldest man on court at the age of 34. In fact, he'll turn 35 next month. Four, He's three. looking as sprightly and as springy as ever. Wide. He does always play with such intensity. Does your confession, Nielsen? I love watching him play. He's yeah. not the most graceful player, but you can see that determination and commitment. Always yeah, gives no, 100%. And, and, and to be oh. oh dear. Yeah, didn't mean to hit his opponent, but that will have hurt. And leave a mark. Mm. 
So to be fair, four. also also I think Go is kind of one of those types, you know, you seldom see him. He's always up for it as well, so. We should be in for a really, really good match here. That's nice. Oh. Uh, that's good. There's that powerful smash again. From Go Sung Hyung. Now I know, Jim, that yesterday after the mixed doubles you've got an opportunity to go and speak to Joachim and well you've just told me and that you felt he was a little bit wild yesterday and that sort of ruined his game yeah, anxious a little over anxious did you talk to him about that or yeah I had a chat with him and he had just asked me and I said well it, it, it looked like you you know you he was you weren't calm you weren't you know you didn't weren't thinking it, properly you weren't thinking properly and then it was kind of like you wanted to show that it was missing harder and harder and harder uh, um, and he kind of agreed on it. That was the same thing he heard from his coach as well. So, um, but when you are that type, you know you can have a tendency to let the motor overrun, if you say it like that. Uh, uh, um, but it's also again it's difficult because it's part of what makes him really good as well. So um, yeah, it's a, f a fine balance. Oh my oh. goodness. Yeah. See, yeah. and that's why yesterday we would have seen him. He was just going to hit hard here. Yeah. He's more in control and blocking. And instead, that one yesterday, right there, he would have hit hard. And, and oh, I don't think the ankle went. Yeah, in fact, he's smiling. I think he's just a wry smile because yeah. he was sent in the wrong direction. I've never seen anybody smile with a twisted angle, so... No. <laughs> see, that's... Yeah. Over. And Joachim knows it straight away, you can see Six, it on him. Seven. His reaction there, that's, that's... That's the part, I think, that he did too much yesterday, you know. Kim, as we saw, Matsutomo use a lot. That's what I really Seven. like about him in, in the mix doubles. You, you don't see him, you know, he, he angles it over at the weakest. And again, as you said, don't get me wrong, Christina is very, very good. Uh, but but he, he knows that he can be affected by it. And then you can see he's almost, you know, the easiest shot for him would be to, to go straight. But he keeps finding that angle. Nine, and he can hit so Seven. hard that it's difficult to get away from. Yeah. And I think that's why they're a little bit afraid of going in the mix double. Because he can do that. Are you saying to me that you think he's a better mixed doubles player than he is a men's doubles player? I think so. I think he will get away with with, 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 with more stuff in his mixed double than he will in his men's double. That's um, interesting. Because, I mean, obviously, he's current world number one in the men's doubles. I know, but we also spoke about why. And, and, and you know, there, there is a reason why they split up him and yes. him day. So um, I just think with the quality that he has. Eight. He, he would have a, a better chance to succeed all the way, and I mean all the way, than I'm in to win something in his mixed double than he would in his men's double. Good serve. Yeah, 
would be in a little block first from the left-hander, then the power play. There was the block, follows it up with the power smash. Lee Dong Su, Korean coach. Players, yeah. You have to be ready. You have to be ready. Okay. Oh, it's a good serve. Very good serve. It's a very close game. Yeah, it's intriguing too. I also think it's pretty proven in in, in mixed double over the years. And again, I'm not saying that. It's the only thing, there's a lot of other things you have to be really good at, but I think it's been proven if you look at the... Good return. That's a good return. The many successful men's doubles players over the last maybe 15 years, they've all had a pretty good attack. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but I'm also very aware that this is the most tactically complicated of all five disciplines. It is. Yeah。男女が男女がサービスにサービスが、サービスが不安だったんだが、あ、これ 我覺得,smoke well, my Danish is very, very rusty, but I think he wants them to um, mix up the pace and stop it at the net a bit. Uh, stop it at the net, but he actually said, uh, it was, uh, sorry, sorry, he said it was wrong of me that they have discussed it. Uh, uh, what to do, and, and he said you need to go back to um, playing straight um, on the shots, and that was especially to to to, to Joachim uh, to to go straight. Uh, the rally. And then when he had the chance, sometimes as you say, come in with the block. Yeah. And you can see that's Christina Pl blocking there. 12, 11. Oh, that's a good serve by Amazing. Couldn't have walked over to the, that side of the no, and placed it any now better she's than that. One, now she's had one precise in the middle, and now she's had one precise at the side. There's nothing worse when you're returning that you know that somebody can flick serve like that. Call number two, mixed doubles. Please welcome from Korea, currently ranked number 49 in the world. Yeah. 
My goodness, he's taking his time. Yeah. Oh. Time's over. I'm surprised Go Sung Hyun didn't actually, because he seemed to almost be on his toes yeah. waiting to serve, and he was made to wait and wait by Yorkshire Fisher. Yeah. <laughs> It's, we've seen two uh, flick serves and some more be very effective for the Danish pair. You know, I'm just wondering why the Koreans aren't using the flick serve. Here we have a flick serve again. Now that's wide. But, you know, it, 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 it's kind of weird because if you really go over the Korean pass we've seen, you know, we saw men stop. They didn't use any flick serve no. at all. No. Um, and it, it is a guy, quite a good weapon. You know, well, it could be that it's not effective on the first one. Or you know, it can be very effective on the second one. And not only that, you get your opponents away from the service line. Yeah. Because they, oh, they can't just go for the short one. But I the theory is that if you if you hit the shuttle in the air with a, with a flick serve, that it gives your opponents, in essence, a chance to smash it. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I understand the theory of why you want to serve low the whole time. But if your opponent's jumping on that low serve, mix it up. Yeah, but still... As I said, it's still a, a better thing to, to tell your opponent that that affliction of can come. Exactly, exactly. Nice. See, they're playing straight to dance. And then, of course, a cross come when I say that. But they keep it a lot down to the line they're standing in. Seems to be the right thing to do. Yes, well, Hansen, coach, looks a little puzzled by things at the moment. Oh, he won't be puzzled by that, he'll be very pleased. Four straight points, 17. and my goodness, it's put a different complexion on this opening game, hasn't it? Great points. That's another game very clever team. serve. Game bringing point up game 30. point opportunities. Second time of asking, and they take the opening game 21 14. First game won by Joachim Fischer, Christina Pedersen 21 14. 18 minutes of play, intriguing, clever badminton. <laughs> Oh, 
남자놈이 지금 좌우로 뺏는 게 좋아 지금. 어? 지금 어저께 하고 틀리게 좌우로 툭툭 빼준단 말이야. 조금 그러면은 밑에서 빼기보다는 밑에서 잡았다 싶으면 좀더 좌우로 높게 올리고 다시 준비하고. 어? 어. 위에서 잡았을 때는 확실히 해줘도 괜찮아. 그리고 지금 여자랑 싸움이 안 되잖아 지금. 여자가 공두개한 개밖에 안 쳐. 남자가 다 친단 말이야. 그러니까 여자하고 해줘야 돼. 그러니까. 여자가 양 옆으로 서 있으면 중간 앞에다 빼다가도 뺏는 게안 된다 싶어 여자 쪽에 올려버려. 그럼 수비해. 그다음 여자 치고 들어올 거 아니야. 그럼 또 빼주고 그럼 다시 시작하고. 어? 위에서 하나가 됐을 때는 지금 헤어핀이나 지금 헤어핀이나 크로스 이런 게 없잖아. 네가 다 중앙으로 빼기 바쁘지 않아 지 그럼 앞에서 해줘야지. 그리고 완전 찬스 뿌려서 지금 크로스윙 두번 아웃돼 갖고 지금 근이 흔히 바뀐단 말이야. 응? 그 맥을 딱 끊어줄 때 끊어져 버려야 된단 말이야. 어? 저도 괜찮으니까 어, 편하게 해. 어? 농 서비스 대체하고. 어? 네도 한 번씩 넣어주고. 어? 어. 준비해. Så f i s h e r går med frem i den hele vejen. Ja, vi går videre, som vi kører. Det er så god til at læse den til, hvor ja. du bevæger. Og ellers, hvis du spiller den, så bare løb selv. Hvis ja. du føler, for ja. jeg kan altid noget ja. sige, når du gør det. Okay. Det er bedre, at du styrer. Ja, okay. lige nøjagtigt. Ja. Øhm, vi holder fast i at save hende der, ja. når hun står i den side der. Det er hun ikke må. Hun må ikke gå lige ind i den, men så når hun står i den anden side, så må hun ikke få den der ind i højre side. Så skal hun ikke ind i, så går hun lige på saven. Så hun skal enten langt ned, eller også så skal hun helt ud i siden. Altså enten langt. Ja. Eller helt ud siden. Hun, hun må ikke bare kunne træde ind i bolden. Hvis du kan lide. Altså tid er også okay, der er hun heller ikke så skarp. Den skal ikke ind i toeren der på hendes højre skulder der. Okay. Vi holder fast i at lange saver til begge to steder. Det er på baglinjen, ja? Jeg er meget, meget bedre nu. Det er super godt nu. Så, det ved. Ja, Jesper talked a lot about uh, uh, the service. Uh, where to place the serves, uh, and they spoke about uh, how to serve Kim especially, and he he said uh, that you know she 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 they shouldn't allow her to just walk straight into the, the serve, so they have to serve her long into the sides uh, or to the the tee, the middle of the court, um, or the middle line of the court, and then also use the flick serve and go. And this is what we've been seeing in the first set; they've used the flick serve way more. Well, good start by the Korean pair for the second game. Oh. A much better start by the Koreans, especially the uh, goal, you know, I want that. I want that explosiveness from him. I want him to try and be the guy that controls it. I think it. I think he can do that game. I think it suits him. His mistake there. Yeah, but that's the mid-court shot again. This very difficult from there, mm. especially in the mixed double, which you said is with the tactic. You know, people are really good at covering when you, yeah, when you have to shoot uh, or make a shot from the mid-court. <laughs> brilliant! Absolutely brilliant! What a rally! Five. That's better by the Korean, and uh, you know, in my book, when he hits like that, it's 278. <laughs> you know, there's only, you know, if I was go right now, I would say to Kim, every time that I hit smashes on Christina with 278, there's only one place you have to be, and that is so far, oops, so far up to the net that you can be, because there's no way that. She can get Five. it past him. No way. Is that a new record for the tournament? I believe it is. 278. About 173 miles per hour. Oh. Clever. See, and. Well, that's well played, but you see the problem there is from, from a hard, hard smash. She's actually, you know, the Danes are, see, the Danes are able to go forward on that, and that they shouldn't be able to do that. Seven. Much 
better start for the Korean team. Sounded a little loose and not what it deserved. And now you see uh, the serve is not good, but look at Joachim. Look, he's he's so far up to that tape. You know, we talk about the flick serve. A flick serve. Just use one flick serve to get him back. Then you can actually maybe get away with a serve like that. But I'm... Oh, that's not... Oh, what a save. But I'm very sure, without knowing, I'm very sure that that's something that the Danes has, have spotted. So they're just going to say... Okay, there's no flick saves coming, so we're not going to worry about that one. Um, Fabulous. Nine, three. Awesome. Okay. Very good mixed up right now. <laughs> well, Yorkham just asking for the court to be mopped of the perspiration. A moment ago, I mentioned that a Go Sun Hyung had a little smile on his face. You know, I've been watching him all tournament here in Denmark, and I think he's looking more relaxed in general. Yeah. I think maybe the the burden of expectation playing with the megastar Lee Yong Day, who is not only famed for his badminton ability, for his film star good looks, he's a huge megastar mm. Lee Yong Day in the whole of South Korea and the whole of Asia, and. To me, he, he just looks more relaxed. That pressure has yeah. made him... Well, he looks like Yo did last year. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so so uh, yeah. it's just telling you how much uh, pressure there is. Yo was yeah. he's not looking like himself. Um. Ten, three. Just super. Saw the gap calmly. Just uh, played the shuttle into the open oh, space. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, I think we should go here in the end half. We should try to go very hard on their serve, generally. Not necessarily go slow hard to them, but we should sit very hard on them. They serve only short until now. We should just find out one thing. Christian has the high in his forehand. Where would you like to slow that down? ไม่ทีนี้ไม่ทีนี้คุณนี่คือสตาร์คุยสตาร์ไม่ทีนี้อย่าก็ไอ้เค้กคุยโอเคโอเคแล้วสุดท้ายก็อย่าอุ้ย
Then Joachim, as we saw yesterday, <laughs> interrupted a little bit and said, uh, there's something we need to find out. When you and Christina are hitting from your forehand side, where are you going to hit it? Um, and then they just kind of said, I'm going to hit it there. Then, okay, then I move out. I mean, they were telling each other how to rotate. Um, yeah. And the last thing Jesper said before, I will need to get going in this set, no matter what. Um, oh, that's up. Yeah, too long. Serves over. Five, twelve. They seem to have incredible hang time in the air. Yeah. <laughs> Goes from Hyung. Goodness. Well, that is just extraordinary. Yeah, and he's enjoying it, though. Yep. He's an incredible physical specimen, but his recovery <laughs> when he dives or went in that rally left sitting on the court but he almost seems to bounce back up again mm. and that's what i mean in the mixed double you know that can be so effective i'm not saying it's not effective in the men's double but you i'm just saying that there's nothing worse than having a you know for, 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 uh, in a mixed double having a guy like that yeah and if he improves that you know can you say the soft game even more oh the court is up here yeah Court attendant rush on. Yeah, and that is, I can tell you what, that's very dangerous. So that, yeah. that needs to be closed. I, I once played in Switzerland where I actually had my old buddy on the, the carpet. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> like I was taking a nap. So, um, well, I guess this little pause in proceedings will possibly benefit the Danes yeah. because their opponents were on a Real little roll. <laughs> yes, Balanson and Kenny Jonasson. Thirteen five play. Mm, well, so much for my theory. 14, five. Error on the return of serve from York and Fisher. Yeah. I would have thought we were almost at the stage where we sort of think, well, Six, yeah, then so then far that's adrift. Also, yeah, but that's also difficult because, it's, that, that, you know, it's it's totally uh, the Korean player who's, who's controlling the match and you also kind of need to get going. Um, it's not. It hasn't been a hard match, so you, you don't have to say, "Okay, this was it because of, of fatigue." Um, no, only 32 minutes. Yeah, but you need to get yourself going, and that's what I. Oh, that's what Jesper meant. Seven fourteen. Joachim. Clever. Oh. What a rally. Oh. Oh. Extraordinary Seven, rally. Over. Rally of the match so far. 15 7. Greeted with almost silence from the home fans yeah. here. 
But again, you see, that's where I think he can be more effective in a mixed double because he gets a lot of things back and all this. But in a men's double, you know, it takes a little bit more uh, on that in that situation. There will be another guy covering quite quickly. Um, and I think he has that thing in a mixed double. Well played by Kim. 16, Keeping seven. it down underneath the net height. More to see. Look at that. Joachim has to play from down there. And she's already ready for the next one. Serves over. 8 16. There's a lot of talk going on between Joachim and uh, Jesper. Mm, that's going out. Oh, okay. Serves over. 17-8. Yeah. yeah. It looks like you're right. It looks mm. like Joachim is not, you know, he's not... He's not wasting energy on, on getting too angry about so like that. Yeah, there's the high backhand. Yeah. Sam's over. Nine, well, I understand Kim Harnar is coached by Lee Ho Jong, who of course was the Olympic champion with Lee Yong Day back in 2008 in Beijing. And I have to say, I've seen glimpses in this second game very reminiscent of Lee Ho Jong. Yeah. The way she's covering the net and moving from side to side. Oh, it's just wide. Over 18 yeah, and maybe this is also what they thought in Korea, you know. They yeah. say, okay, Lee Young Day hasn't done it for a while in mixed double. We need to get something up and going. And Go has shown in the past that oh, it's a good shot. And he can he can play with the best double, uh, mixed Ten, doubles without him 18. being one of the favorites. Oh, <laughs> oh, <my> defense. <laughs> yeah, look at him smile. Oh, that was almost a cut. But look at his look at his balance. Look, exactly. that, that is like unbelievable. Unbelievable balance. You have to be so strong. No, well, game points have come game as far point. as the home fans are Ten. concerned. A little too quickly. Ten opportunities for the Koreans to send this to a third and deciding game. Ah, you're okay. Yeah. Game. Disinterested in the last few rallies Second there, the Danes. Be interesting to see what Jesper. 21, 10, one game all. And how Joachim is reacting here in the break. 21 10, the scoreline in the second game. Only 37 minutes played. Ja, så renser vi hovedet nu. Her til sidst i sættet, der kommer vi ud af servesituationen på den rigtige måde, når vi selv server. Vi får, får bare kommer til at lave nogle fejl, fordi vi lidt har mistet troen, ikke også? Nu skal vi op og sidde igen. Så skal vi ud af servesituation på samme måde, som vi kommer nu her. Det har jeg gjort godt. Når de saver, så skal vi op og sidde hårdt på de der korte saver. Der har ikke været en lang sav. Så vi skal helt op og ringe. Men det, det er okay at variere den ind på kroppen af ham. Den er ikke så god til. Men, men vi, skal, vi skal op og få dem dumpet ned af. Hvis man kan lægge korte modtagninger helt ude på stolperne, så er det godt. Altså hvis vi, hvis vi ikke drejer den ned i halvdistancen, men i stedet for drejer den helt kort, hvis man kan det. Så skal du blive ved med at variere, men vi skal passe på med det her med, når vi kommer ind, ikke også? Og så har lagt noget ned af, at vi så gør sådan her, når vi slår den, vi skal træde ind i den og lægge den, og så skal vi blive fremme. Hvis de så spiller over, så cutter vi den ned bagefter. 
Øh, og... Jeg synes alt for mega, det er, at vi skal længere frem. Ja, det skal vi. Længere vi... frem og gøre dem færdige, ja. når vi så har stået frem. Ja. Så skal vi bage to. Ja. Vi skal skulle løbe mere frem. Ja, det skal vi. Det, det, der sker, når du, øh, når du putter nu, det er også, det er, at du kommer til at putte sådan her, så gør du lidt sådan her. I stedet for ligesom at komme ind og så putte, altså... Kæts jer hovedet opad, frem i banen. Ja. Okay? Og så når vi har været oppe, så putter de over ja. i den anden side, så den der ikke har været oppe og hængt, skal bare op i den anden side, ja. så den kommer ja. kort kryds. Det er godt, ja. Øhm, og så sidste ting. Fokus på servesituationen igen, og aftaler på. Ram hende i venstre skulder, få de lange saver med. Kom så. Kunne And yes, but he was, he, he, the first thing he started with saying to the Danish pair was, you know, let's get a clean start here, Shega hits. Let's get a momentum ready. Uh, um, and then he start, talked about the service situation again on their services. That when uh, the Korean serves, that he we need to go hard on them, not but not to be you know just like here, not to be aggressive on them, but to to get it to get it downwards, to get it down, so the two. Koreans have to play from underneath the net. Um, then uh, both Kristina and, and Jesper was said to each other, to 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 Joachim that he has to stay more forward, even if he plays to the net, he has to stay forward. Uh, he was playing the net and walking backwards all the time and the Korean pair, as we saw, is finding the gaps in the net. So the, the Danish pair is going to come more forward. And then it's up to you to tell what the Korean can say. were out of position and then suddenly that good movement of his and he can still take the shuttle early yeah the one thing that Jesper also said was if we were standing so far up and, and they're gonna lift to us in a way Joachim had to go down and not hit hard he had to kind of use a cut to get it downwards instead of hitting hard and well, that's the first flick serve I think from the Koreans Nielsen wants to change his racket. I think that's psychological rather yeah. than... Uh, he's also thinking, you can see he's standing there. It's not only the racket, he's really trying to get his mind together. I can see it in his eyes right now. He's, he's, he's not happy with his game. Four, two. Certainly the fans here doing their bit to try and lift the home players. <laughs> oh my goodness! 
to finish the rally. I would love to see that defensive by Kim again. <laughs> Look how far down the Korean side. It's, it's a lot of players that can learn from that. But that is why the, you know, almost always see Korean players being good in defense. That defensive stands are unbelievable. All. So far down on the legs. Yeah, crouching down yeah. low. Now, she, she was going to get that one too, but not that one. Looks like the new racket is working a little bit better. Concerning Go Sun Hyung just looking across to the adjoining court, of course, on the Koreans playing in a mixed doubles, Kim Ki Jung and Kim So Yuk Young against the Olympic and World Championship silver medalist from China. But that would bother me as a coach that yeah. he was looking across and not really. I, wanna, I would have wanted full attention to yeah. what he's doing right yeah. now. Especially as the Danes have just been in the lead. Well, yeah. there you go. That's yeah. what's happened. He's broken his concentration. That's yeah. a simple error. Yeah. And it's, you know, lost momentum now, the green pair. Yeah. Let's it drop long. Seven's over. Five, six. said first the drop shot Seven, and then five. what you call a stick shot <laughs> stick smash <laughs> angled steep smash we'll just give a translation there <laughs> That's, you know, Six, seven. we've seen that been very successful a few times now. Now, if if the Koreans are to, to come back into the, I know they're only behind one point, but but if they're to come back in this match and take momentum back, they need to say, okay, this is the way we're going to win. Yeah. We have to get that lift. Therefore, we have to commit to the to going forward on the court and take the net. Oh, oh. Seven, all. Oh. That's incredible. Yeah. Uh, he, it's a good shot, but he gets away with it though there because the first he, this is the first shot he does that is a cross every time. And and I think he could be much more effective if he started to just play the net shot, the, the drop shot straight a little bit more often. He goes goes cross quite a lot of times. Cross again. So he kind of outplays himself. 
Um, Well, he's missed. He's gone wide. Nine, but eight, goes to him. Look, I'm not sure that we could see it from that, but he leapt from his base position in the ready to receive serve. He didn't even take a step, did he? He just jumped backwards. That's strength. Yeah. One of his favourite returns, isn't it? Yeah. Good flick. This time with the Koreans. So the last rally before the change of ends in this deciding game. Ah, oh, that's out of balance. Yeah, really shouldn't have tried to go for such a a difficult shot, you're that far out of position and off balance. Just play something to get yourself back into the rally. Look, he's way out of court by the time he's finished his stroke there. Okay, spill the ball on, what do you think now? Det er okay. Vi skal trykke med. Jeg synes, vi skal stoppe mere. Ja, jeg synes også, vi skal stoppe. Altså, ja, ja, ja. Det står så langt tilbage. Jeg synes, langt tilbage. Svært, at han laver dumme, synes, ja. det er skide godt. Men, men prøv lige at høre, prøv lige at høre her. Ydersiden. Slå på ydersiden af dem. Slå, når hun står i højre side, så slå på hendes højre side. Slå den helt ud på hende. Okay? Og så skal de saver med nu. Det skal ind i venstre skulder, og det skal langt. Ikke også? Vi skal have mod til de lange saver, og så frem i dippen bagefter. Joachim was said the first thing he said. I would, that's something we need to discuss here. You know, I want sometimes I want the kill from the net. And straight away, Christina, no, I think it's the opposite. And Jesper said the same. So <laughs> we're not really agreeing on things. Um, it was kind of more short, if you can say, meaty than normally. Um, but they talked a lot about hitting on the, on the side of the Korean pair, not in the middle. So to the side, as we saw here. Oh, Clever. Oh. And again. Shuffle changed. Danes don't. One part agrees with the Danes. Ooh, loose serve. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Well, Crikey, that was a 11. 
Wonder what speed that was. <laughs> the sound when he hits to it is unbelievable. You can see Joachim doesn't even react. No. Let's see. Yeah. That one, not the power, but he took the shuttle so early. Yeah. Once again, leaping from the base position in the middle of the court. Played around the head smash, as we call it. But this is the type of shots you will get in a mixed double. He won't get them in men's double. So this is why he's so effective. Mm, I just think it's worrying moments for Danish fans. Mm, very important they win this rally. Oh. Incredible. There you see, you know, I, 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 I just think he's proving my point. I'm, I'm happy about it. Uh, of course, I'm Danish, but uh, <laughs> he's, 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 he's very difficult to play against. You know, he gets so many things back, and and at the end, you you always know that he can be very powerful, come up with that big smash. Uh, so there's no... You're never safe. Overdone it, just wide. And what Christina and uh, Joachim has to do now is they have to really, really just be come forward on the on the court and take the net, just go up and get the sh these shots that just goes a little bit under the net and, and control it from there. I think if they're taking the fight in the power, they will lose. That game they will lose because that's going wide. Yeah, you can see that game they will lose all the flat, all these things. That it's not. Oh, and I think uh, Joachim has to look at his racket that time. He broke that one. Yeah. Now he realizes. I think he used it as his, when he was uh, close to the net. For Jesper, mm. he knows it's crucial right now. Some of his frustration, I think, yeah, put that yeah, one away. Very important point for Denmark. Yeah. Keep it tight. Going wide. That's a good rally. Yeah. Right. And Christina Peterson pleased with that. And I think, you know, if you look at Kim play there, the net, I think she has to she has to realize is that that's not the game that, that they should play. As soon as she has this chance at the net to play close, she should do it. Because getting a lift from that position would be the best thing for them. Adam 
Zawa, 17-14. Time is running out for the Danes. It's a good kill. So important for the three time former champions. Oh, that's terrible, sir. Above the net, that is. Oh, that is. It's almost a flick, sir. Absolutely shocking. Well, nerves can do funny things to you. Oh, oh no. Just long. 19 15. Two points away. The Koreans. From securing their place in the semi final. No! One point away. Match point 15. Double hit by the Danes. Point saved. 16-20. Second match point saved. Or should that be? A match point squandered by the I think so, yeah. yeah. I'm, just, I'm just saying be very careful with that. Yeah. You know. Joachim is just calm and nice and easy waiting. 18, 20. And now we're into a tough situation for the Koreans right now. Yeah. Pressure. Who's going to handle it? Three match points have come and gone. Still another two remain for the Koreans. have been saved. Would you believe it? Twenty all. 
extra points required until there's a clear two-point winning margin. Who would have thought? What an extraordinary match. Well, the power play from Go Sung Hyung. So now, a sixth match point opportunity for the Koreans. And a 6-1 save. Oh, I just seemed to rush his low serve there. Yeah. Goes some young. Point opportunity themselves. Oh, well taken, oh, my goodness, that was brave. Oh. That's 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 pretty cool. But but go, he saw, he's been seeing that blocked to the net a few times now, and now he just went for it. Very brave to do it this time. It's going wide. 23, 22. So, for a seventh time, a match point opportunity for the number eight seeds from Korea. It was going to happen at 2015. <laughs> no, certainly not. Match point again for the Koreans. Oh. And once again, it's saved. But I must say, they're also making some very weird decisions in their match points, the Korean pair. Yeah. Like there was no reason for Go to do that. Well, we've seen in the men's doubles, he does have a tendency to get a little bit nervous at yeah. times. So, 24 all. Oh, well played. Oh. Well, desperation. Shots from both pairs. So now, for the three times former champions, it's a second match point opportunity. Oh, 
Dear me, it wasn't a, the best of serves <laughs> again. The nerves are all a little bit frayed. Yeah. Well. well, just to remind you, of course, if we got to 29 all, then it's sudden death. Yeah. What a match. Good serve. That's a good block. <laughs> what a round. Yeah, clever. Saw that the left hander was weighted, committed to his backhand defence, aimed it down his forehand side. Didn't have to be powerful. Look, he's trying to play the backhand when it's on his forehand side. And now a ninth match point opportunity <laughs> for the Koreans. Just keeps getting better and better. Yeah. Well, we've just gone over the hour and ten minute mark. See that high flick serve come down to, uh, to the forehand side at, uh, at him. Or if we see a serve wide, maybe. Seven twenty-six. Well, a third match point opportunity for the three-time former champions. This is beautiful. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> this game wide. Oh, what a... <laughs> oh, you're a fantastic round. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> sensational. And, and the thing is, it's just... Everything they do is well thought of. It's, you know, look at that. To do that at, at, at a match point is unbelievable. People have other tendencies to try and do something different. In the full rally, they're trying to really stick to the tactic. It's unbelievable. Twenty-seven. Oh. Can we change the rule to forty? <laughs> <laughs> By the Koreans, it looks like the it looks like the Danes are a little bit tired after that rally. Uh, there's no really spark in the no. in Joachim smash there. Yeah, I thought it was particularly good play though from Kim Han Ah. So for the Koreans, match point opportunity number ten anniversary. What on earth 
work have you got to do to win this? <laughs> well, I don't know about the players, but my nerves are jangling. Oh, the umpire allowing both pairs to go off and towel down. An hour and 14 minutes. What a game. Low serve previously oh, was not the best. Do you yeah. think he's going to flick? I think so, yeah. Yep. Oh, Clever. Okay. Brilliant. Well, coach Jesper Larson had urged him not to run away from the net. There, stood his ground and just calmly placed the shuttle in a downward direction. 29 28, match point number four for the number four seeds from Denmark. This next rally wins the match. <laughs> what an extraordinary match it's been. Good serve. down in the deciding game they refused to give up and let me match be, point saved yeah but let me remind you one thing a lesson learned here from a lot of players out there who people who play badminton never take your foot off the gas remember those two points we talked about at 2015 from the korean prayer where they thought ah this will be this is in the back. It's never in the back until it's finished. So their confirmation of the most thrilling match we've had so far at this year's Yonex Denmark Open. 30-29 in the deciding game and the three-time former champions York and Fisher Nielsen and Christina Pedersen through to the semi-final where they will meet the Olympic champions Zhang Nan and Zhao Yunlei. Well, only one flick serve from the Koreans. Now we made comment of that during yeah. the match, Jim, but Apart from that, uh, not an awful lot to choose between them. No, and it, well, it's also 
30-29, so <laughs> it shouldn't be. Yeah. But, but you can see that's something they have to work on. Yeah, they have to work on the flick serving part. You know, it, you know, the, the Danes get way too many points in the service situation because they know that no flick serve is going to come. And, so, but they were in the driving seat, yeah. the Koreans, and they took the foot off the gas, and you can't do that. Well, their confirmation that the Danes will meet the Olympic champions Jang Nang and Zhao Yunlei, who came through against Mrs. And Mr. and Mrs. Adcock in three games, of course. Chris Adcock and Gabby White, fresh from their honeymoon after their recent marriage, pushing the Olympic champions the full distance. Well, that's a match to look forward to tomorrow. My goodness me, but let's enjoy some of the highlights, numerous highlights from this quarterfinal.
goodness me, if the next two matches are half as good as that mixed doubles we've just witnessed, we're in for two more thrilling matches this evening. Both of them are singles. We've got women's singles next, featuring the newly crowned world champion, Rachel of the Hintonon. And then, of course, we round off with men's singles and the defending champion against the former champion, the world number one, Lee Chong Wei.